hello again a little bit more about my Philips radiogram and what I've done to get it playing the original head shell and uh, cartridge on it was this one here um, now this might still work to be honest I've never tried it um, but it's uh, probably 50 odd years old and I thought you know what I'll try making my own so um, with the use of the 3D printer I started um, printing out um, head shells now this is the first one and um, it's uh, a bit heavy it doesn't fit very well but it was a first attempt and moved on to this one here the fitting on the back is much better um, it'll hold the new cartridge better but um, still didn't quite get the dimensions right so that one's no good either and now the one that I actually got to work first time was number three this is number three this has actually got uh, a very cheap and cheerful um, Japanese made uh, cartridge ceramic cartridge and stylus inside um, it's a little heavy um, but it does work it's wired up as mono only so I've only got um, two of the pins connected and I'm basically using uh, screws to screw it on to the, um, the tone arm um, but it works well um, but I thought I could do better than that this is number four now this is virtually identical to the one that's on there um, only this one's actually just a little bit too small I, I overdid it when um, making it a, a little bit lighter so the one that's on there is actually just a little bit bigger um, now the curious thing is that uh, something I didn't even notice till yesterday and I've had this uh, radiogram several weeks now is that this weird bracket over here I couldn't figure out what it was for and of course looking at it it's the same size as the original cartridges or the original head shell um, and uh, indeed if I wiggle these things they actually come off now there's two of these one for uh, vinyl and one for um, 78s the vinyls were known as microgroove at the time they've gone all green and gungy inside this is because these are actually uh, crystal cartridges uh, probably from the late 50s uh, probably the original pair it came with and um, the uh, crystals absorb water out of the atmosphere and go bad um, so they're no good but I will clean them up and uh, I'll either put them back onto the little uh, the little uh, mount or else I'll use that for the new cartridges so um, there we go um, now my last little video the sound wasn't very good on it so uh, let's have another shot with the record player and uh, let's see if we can get some sound out of it okay here we go Right, that seems okay. Okay, probably enough of that. Right. I'd like to play more, but I dare say uh, YouTube will pick up on the uh, copyright nature of anything that I put on, so uh, best not to. I've still got some more work to do around the speed of the turntable. I'm not convinced it's quite fast enough, even though it's actually going at more than 45 RPM. Some tracks sound a bit flat. Um, there's also, if I can just reach in and get it, um, the centre bit, for some curious reason, is broken off inside and won't fit over the, um, the short shaft very well, although there is a longer shaft that um, came... Uh, with it for use with the auto changer which is incomplete so I can't use so anyway I'll probably 3D print myself a little insert for that which should fix that um, and anyway that's pretty much it okay well uh, thanks for viewing if you like it please subscribe it's Mr. RG stuff and uh, bye for now